generation iron app on Google Play and the App Store. So Lou, how did you first get introduced to bodybuilding? Well, when I was very young, I did a uh, close to birth. I locked a major part of my hearing, like 80% because I had an ear infection. And growing up as a kid, I was very introverted, very shy, and I used to read all the comic books. I was fascinated with power, like the Incredible Hulk, Superman. One time I tried to jump with a, with a cape, pretend I was Superman, I almost broke my leg. So I decided I'd rather be with the Hulk. But then I discovered bodybuilding at the age of like 11, 12, because my friend had some waist. I want to look at these magazines and I discovered that they had a competition called Mr. Universe, mm -hmm. Mr. America, because I used to watch Mr. America. And I said, wow, competition with guys with muscle. So then that's what got me into bodybuilding. But the, but the very first thing that really caught my attention was seeing Steve Reeves, the movie Hercules. Mm -hmm. It was in the movies on the big screen. They had pictures like a Life magazine, these different magazines, him standing there with the two chain pulling the, the pillars. I said, wow, I said, this is what I want. It's passion. It's all about power. Mm -hmm. That's how it all began. And how did you actually start doing it, like physically? Mm -hmm. How did you actually start bodybuilding? Well, I was very skinny. I couldn't gain weight. I had to do push ups and chin ups. A friend of mine had weight. I'll never forget the first time I lift weights. I was kind of like struggling to try and push the bar. It felt so awkward. So my other friend just picked the bar, he did a couple of set of presses. Mm -hmm. I felt a little humiliated because I was like maybe 13. Mm -hmm. But I just like the feeling that picking up something that the connection with the body, it just, I just knew that I would be very powerful. And I wanted to be so powerful, the most powerful person because I just love the feeling of the iron. The first time I touched it, and pick that weight up. I've never done it before. It, it just felt so good. I said, this is what I want. Even though back then, mm -hmm. they put down bodybuilding, they put down weight training, you gotta be a muscle head, you're dumb, you're stupid to work out with weights. But I just liked it. It's the beginning of my passion. Because I had nothing else to, it my only way to survive. Mm, I see. And back then, bodybuilding wasn't big at all, right? It no. was very kind of, what was the, when you started doing it, how, how, how widely spread was it? Well, the only they had the Mr. America competition, like in 1964, they didn't have the Miss Olympia yet. Mm -hmm. So it's only visible, it's only able to read about it in the magazines, like Muscle Power, that's it. Mm -hmm. and, you, uh, and the only thing, like I mentioned, like Steve Reeves in the film Hercules. Mm -hmm. It didn't catch on to the mainstream, of course, when we did Pumping Iron, but before then, you get a trophy, you go to a competition, and sometimes they would have the competition, they have a, a powerlifting meet, they have the bodybuilding competition 11 o'clock at night after the competition, powerlifting. Mm -hmm. Because they always, with never, bodybuilding never got the respect it deserved. Mm -hmm. But I was so obsessed with it, and I went to every bookstore, comic bookstore, to find every magazine mm -hmm. I could find old, even back in the 40s and 50s, to digest and read all this information to learn everything about building muscle. And I used to see all these guys, as a matter of fact, if you throw all these names at me, I remember everybody from the 40s, the 50s, 60s, who won Mr. America, Mr. Universe. Wow. Interesting. So when you started working out, did it come easy to you or was it, it was it difficult? Because you obviously were tall, right, when you were young. Yeah, uh, I was about 5'8". I weighed 156 pounds in the first year of high school, but prior to that, I was about maybe 140. I was very thin. I eat everything I sight. I wouldn't gain weight. I had skinny legs. But I just liked it because I liked the feeling of the resistance of the weight. But it was a long struggle for me because it wasn't easy for me to put on size because you know, I was growing pretty fast. Mm -hmm. When I graduated from high school, I was 17 years old. I weighed 172 pounds and I was sixth grade. Wow. Like a big pole. Wow. Were there a lot of gyms at that time around? There was no gym. You only had a baby, a wife, the MCA. I had uh, equipment. I made my own equipment in the basement. I got two milk boxes. I got two pieces of uh, wood. And I got the hinges, you know, the door hinges. Mm -hmm. And I made uh, the bench go up and down like far as like the wooden part, the long mm -hmm. part. So I could sit. Uh, even though I had it, uh, I would get a pillow. Sometimes I would lay against the wood. It would hurt my back. But I try to imitate all the exercises you see in the magazine. And then. Uh, I started to join the gym when I was about 17 with the gym called r j Health Club. It was, a, it was an old fashioned kind of a gym, barbers and dumbbells. We did not have the sophisticated machine we had today. Mm. Everything we did was improvised. Mm -hmm. And that was, what, what part of New York were you growing up in? Uh, Brooklyn. 
Brooklyn. So obviously, uh, like West Coast was much more advanced when it came to bodybuilding. Oh yeah, because I had to read about it in the magazine. Like you see pictures of Joko, Gold Gym, or just mm -hmm. sophisticated equipment. I didn't have that. But my dream, though, of like 13, 14, come to California just one day, just be in that gym, just be with also a superhero. Yeah. And uh, that's all I did. Just dream of read, reading the magazine. It kept my vision, my ambition going. Mm -hmm. Even though I had waste at home and I didn't have the best equipment, but I just on Sunday afternoon, sometimes I'll be so bored. I would just sit down, read magazines, and then work out, mm -hmm. read magazines, take another, do another set, just fantasize. But it kept me alive. Mm -hmm. It was the only thing that interests me. It interests me because if I didn't have that, I don't know where I would be. I would be out to, I, where I would be out around today. Now, what about diet and also supplements back then? Probably wasn't that it wasn't that available to you either, right? Well, supplements back then. I mean, really, people I knew talk about taking vitamins because back then a lot of people were smoking, you know, drinking. Yeah. So I was always into the vitamins because I learned to study nutrition. Because at the early age, when I was going to high school, I was eating like Yankee Doodles, like Ding Dong, with a quart of milk, like cake in the morning, and then 11 o'clock at night in the in the morning, I'll fall asleep because of the, of the sugar rush. I learned, I learned about protein to later on, mm -hmm. but it was trial and error. But I come home from school, I constantly worked out, worked out, I just love working out. Wow. I just like the feeling of it. When did that happen? Well, I started to work out and then I decided one day, I didn't tell too many people I was gonna compete in a contest. Mm -hmm. It was called the Open Mr. New Jersey Hercules competition. I was 19 and I told a bunch of my friends two days before, I was going to compete in the contest. Mm -hmm. So two of them said, hold on one second. One, two, three, they all said, ha, 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 laughing at me. I felt so humiliated. I said, just wait, just wait. So I went into this competition two days later. I came 23rd place. But that night when I stepped on stage, and I remember when I saw the flex, flat bulbs were going off, people were clapping, I said, this is something I'm doing that Mm -hmm. I love to do. And I came home and I promised, I told my father, I'll never come left to 23rd place again. That was the beginning. Then I learned to map a routine. I learned to work out, how to concentrate, build on my legs. Because bodybuilding is a science. Everybody thinks back then that you work out, you jump on stage and compete. It's a science. It's all about learning about the muscles, the proportions, the balance, mm -hmm. the tanning, everything. It's one of the hardest sports in the world. And to me, I just loved it because I loved competing with myself. Mm -hmm. I was very competitive. Mm -hmm. And plus, with the fact that I had difficulty speaking mm -hmm. and being social with other people, I'm almost like slightly socially retarded because I was so extremely introverted. Right. So it changed my life.